I'm gonna be tie-dyeing some shirts and this is like the second time I've ever tie-dye shirts and it's been a so it's been a long time and this time I'm gonna go for a pastel color because the last time that I made the tie-dye shirt it kind of it was kind of random and it wasn't really planned out so I'm gonna give this another shot and I'm gonna try this out and see how it goes I might take me places far where I want to be it's no option Okay, so the goal here, I've got this shirt, dreams come true, and I'm gonna tie-dye this shirt. It's got the logo here on the side too, so I was like wondering how it would turn out with the logo as well. But since they're pastel colors, I feel like it should all turn out pretty well, and I feel like we should be able to see the logo. Hopefully the text can stand out, and the colors will look really nice and blend really well. That's what we're hoping for here. So I'm gonna be doing purple, blue, and pink. We're gonna be doing those three colors on my shirt to try it out. Ow! The brand we got was Tulip. So for pastel, you basically fill up the dye bottle with water and then you pour it into a cup and then you just keep adding water to the bottle to dilute it and that basically makes it pastel. And it came with rubber bands and it also came with this um, plastic cover for the table. And it came with these. All right, so we're just gonna use a blank shirt because I wanna test this out first to see if this can turn out the way we want it to. So just a blank one for now and then if it turns out really nice, then we'll use the same technique to do the Dreams Come True shirt. We got our gloves on first. We just have um, a bucket of water, and then we're just going to soak it, and then just wring it out, because apparently the dye sticks better if it's wet first. Alright, this is going to be to test the colors, to see what color they come out with before we put it on the shirt. You think that's too dark? I think yeah, it's a little dark. too dark still. Yeah. We're gonna have to pour out some more. Still looks the same. Nah, it's a little lighter. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, you say that now, but it's gonna be so dark. Oh my god. Why does it look Why does that one look redder? Yeah, what? You didn't get any on your shirt. You didn't get any. Oh. All right, good. All right. Now we got our three colors right here. The crinkle technique is basically you just grab the edge and you like fold it all together into like a ball and then we're just going to secure it with the rubber bands. So I guess you can start at that end. You want to do it like pretty tight and then we should bring it together and then secure it. That's kind of like a like you were twirling it. You don't want to do that. This is the finished product. We have no idea what this is gonna look like. <laughs> oh, okay. Like just so you just so I kinda know. Yeah. Oh. oh it already looks so pretty. Yeah, it does. It looks awesome. Okay, I'm gonna leave some room here for the pink. Like I was leaving it for the pink.
There it is. We're gonna let it sit like this for a while, probably like at least eight hours, maybe overnight, we'll see. And then we're just gonna throw it in a plastic bag and tie it up. Boom. All right, so it is morning and we left it, the dye on for like nine hours, I think. Yeah. Or no. No, like 13 hours. hours. 13 hours, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we don't know if it's still gonna be like pastel or not. Yeah, it might we'll turn see. out a little too dark. I think mine's gonna be darker, but it's okay. It still looked really cool. I ended up doing my own, so. I would rinse it out with uh, cold water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks so good. Yeah. Bring it out a little bit. Make sure there's no more dye coming on. Yeah, mine's really bright. Yeah. <laughs> but it looks really good. Yeah, cool. that's awesome though. I like it. Yeah, good. Alright. So this is the front. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like, and I think it looks great. Yeah, we just threw it in the dryer. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the color came out, so it's a lot more pastel than we thought it would be, but it's like good, in a good way. Yeah, so I think it's good to go for the Dreams Come True shirts, because I think the black's gonna stand out really well with how we yeah. did this. Yeah, turn around. Yeah. Nice. So here's, this is her version, and it turned out pretty well too, it turned out great. It became a little bit more pastel-like as well. Yeah, I thought this was going to be a lot brighter. Yeah. But I like it because you can like, mm -hmm. light up. Right. And I fold these. Oh, you did, okay, yeah. nice. But yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. And so this is what it looks like with the dreams come true text on the front and the logo on the side. You can see it all pretty well. Yeah, the colors look really well. It's a nice pastel look. So this pastel dreams come true shirt is called Ocean Breeze. I have other colors as well. And it's on my website, www.itsobvious.com forward slash merch.